In the two cases we highlight, the families tell us the signs were there and their loved one's deaths could have been prevented. Tonight, we tell the story of Ipti Sim Trebelsi. Nine months ago to this day, Arapahoe County deputies responded to what they say is one of the most horrific murders they've ever seen. Trebelsi stabbed by her husband more than 100 times just days after she started the process to file for divorce. He was arrested and later hung himself at the Arapahoe County Jail. Ipti's kids say there were many fights and arguments, but they never expected this. Now the three are left behind trying to heal and navigate life without their mother. It's so depressing looking at pictures and thinking back on all the times that we had and knowing that I won't be able to have that again. Knowing that I'm going to have to keep going through all the hardships that life has without the support of my mom. Now this series is called Those Left Behind because it's about the children who you rarely ever hear about in domestic violence situations. Tonight, Mazin will share more of his mother's story at 9 on Channel 20 and at 10 o'clock on 9 News. In the studio this morning, I'm Darius Johnson.